Iran's hijab rule. No veil, no vehicle. Iran has introduced a new rule requiring female drivers and passengers to wear hijabs while inside vehicles or face impoundment, despite widespread opposition to the country's mandatory hijab laws. The state-owned Farce News Agency released a video explaining the new directive, which is in line with Article 638 of the Islamic Penal Code and new directives from the Interior Ministry and the Judiciary. According to the video, if a female passenger or driver is caught violating the rule for the first time, a warning will be sent to the vehicle's owner. Repeat offenses will result in a 15-day impoundment of the vehicle, and subsequent offenses will lead to indefinite impoundment. The video also mentioned mentioned that Iranians were recently forced to remove pictures of deceased uh, family members who were not wearing hijabs. The strict enforcement of hijab laws has had a negative impact on Iran's economy, leading to the closure of thousands of businesses and even the unemployment for many Iranians. So this is coverage of a video that came out that was kind of like a public service announcement that the the judiciary was putting out there. And it's going to be their new system to enforce hijab. And if you scroll down, I think, did we put the video in the article? I can't remember. Um, But basically, yeah, okay, so we have it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we want to watch it? Yeah. Okay. You can do the translation then. I mean, there's subtitles, but you could, yeah. It has translation, so let me, okay. So it says an Iranian, okay, hold on, let me bring it here. So Iranian public announcement about hijab regulations. So I want you to keep uh, in mind the context here. The Iranian regime is trying to find ways to enforce the hijab laws without the ways that it did it before, like having uh, morality police in the street where it arrests women without hijab because it paid a very heavy price for that. And mm-hmm. it's scared of doing that again because it's afraid that if it does that again, another ma- another person will get killed and then there will be another wave of revolution happening. So it's trying to use cameras, face recognition cameras, and telling people that they're not allowed in trains if they don't wear their hijab, to shut down stores where they accept women without hijab in there. And now this, right? So it's trying to find a less hands-on approach to have a heavy price for not wearing the hijab without actually having morality police go and grab women because it's afraid of the reaction being very, it's afraid of its people, which is a good thing. But let's look at this new method and see what it's about. So. So it says, according to a directive sent by the Interior Ministry and the Judiciary to the public security, uh, to, to the public security police, and according to public demand, mm-hmm. this is nonsense. This is nonsense. They have like a, uh, a minority radical religious people in Iran who are demanding that the government to enforce the hijab laws more. And that's what they call public demand. But the, the, we have so many data that shows the majority of the people in Iran are absolutely not just against mandatory hijab, no, but against, against hijab. hijab. They just has against hijab, not mandatory hijab. They're just anti-hijab. That's the majority of the people in Iran. So this is nonsense. So it says, according to public demand, and Article 638 of the Islamic Penal Code. So it's saying the police has an obligation to act in order to control social norms. The manzure control and maintain society's security and peace of mind. Okay, but here's the thing. They might have a point when it comes to maintaining society's peace of mind because there are some people losing it out here. (laughs) Well, I mean, are you talking about the religious people who are losing their mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me that there's videos of them sobbing. Yes, they're crying. They're crying. Or like, I thought this is an Islamic country. Why are you not enforcing the laws? Like this, okay, but... 
society security. They think this the country is less secure if women go around without hijab. That's what they actually think. That's part of their philosophy. But I love um, maintaining yes. society's peace of mind. I was like, that might be more true than they're willing to admit. <laughs> و آرامش روانی جامعه است اقدام نمایی نه but that's not what he's talking about he when he says peace of mind what he's referring to is men don't want to get horny when they walk in the street mm. that's what they that's they're like mm-hmm. they they think this is this is they think this is against a men's right they they actually say say this is a man's right issue okay. they say that you They think they are raping. If you are beautiful and sexy and walking the street, you are without permission entering a man's mind and making them horny. And you don't understand that a man has to get horny. A man has no control. A married man who wants to be devoted to his wife, you coming out in the street, showing your legs and showing your hair, you are invading his personal brain you're entering his mind and making him horny so you are disrupting his peace he's trying to maintain a family and you're making that difficult for him and this is against th- these women are violating men's right by being sexy that's what i'm i'm not joke i am not this is not a joke this is actually their philosophy i'm sorry i'm, I'm sorry I'm, I have videos of women. Of I, I will I will bring you a vi- video of a, of a, of girls in school explaining that to their teacher, and th- and and the woman and the teacher clapping for them. Yeah, like yes, this is a violation of men's rights. And then all and if they're all women, there's girls and women in a, in a school setting, a religious school a girls school setting. Like yes, we should not violate men's rights. We should we should cover our hair. <laughs> I I am not joking. This is actually. <laughs> you hear that, kings? Right. You hear that, kings? <laughs> This is how you get respect. Okay. <laughs> I will. I, I have to go find that video. It's it's insane. Don't it's let these insane. bitches know. <laughs> This this comment is amazing. Say, imagine being so hot. It's illegal. Exactly. I don't have to imagine it. I don't have to imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so according to the new plan the first look at the, the music they put behind this and the, like the mm-hmm. radio voice that the man has like they're trying to make it sound so amazing according to the new plan the first time a woman is caught removing her hijab in a car Um, for the first time, a text message, like if you see it for the first time, a text message from the police will be sent to the owner of the car. By the way, the way this happens is that they rely on other people reporting it. Mm. So you know how this, do you know how this backfired? No. People started reporting hijabi woman. <laughs> Right, so there's so you get a text warning that we have noticed that you don't have a hijab while while driving this car, right? Oh, no. Because your text, because your phone number is associated, like is linked to your the the car the plate number on the car. So people will submit the plate number, and you will get a text. And the people who are getting these texts are conservative women with full hijab. They're getting warnings that you have been seen without a hijab. So people are like. Uh, bombarding the system with like false reports, right? So let's go. Yomach as sarshomari police be malik khudro ba elam hushdar. And a warning will be issued in order to protect social norms. Be manzure. Sound. This sounds so 1984, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. This is so dystopian. This is like so mm-hmm. 1984. Like you will get a warning will be issued in order to protect social norm. Like this mm-hmm. scream. Fascism. I don't know how to. Oh it's, it's it's straight up fascist. <laughs> it's straight up fascist, isn't it? Now, yet a hundred of social issues are being discussed. In the event, if you want to challenge it, you can click the attached link and express your objection. It is a click on the link that is attached. It is a click on the link that is attached. The police will accept this unconditionally at first. بدون قید و شرط در مرحله اول می‌پذیرد. برای بار دوم. When a hijab is removed for the second time. 
در صورت کشف حجاب مجددن از Another text message will be sent to the owner of the car. طریق پیامک به مالک خود رو اعلام می‌گردد که خودروی شما به مدت پا... Informing him that the vehicle is automatically impounded for 15 days on the second text message that you get. Wow. But I had my car impounded for something similar when I was in Iran, but yeah. Oh, really? I lost it for I lost my car for six months. Oh. I think if I remember correct. The reason because they couldn't find it. <laughs> I, I they a police stopped me in Iran because th- for the crime of having being in a car with a girl yeah okay they took my car for sexual harassment okay i was because there was a girl in my car and they lost my car they said the only way you could get your car is to go find it yourself i What? had to go from parking lot to parking lot and go from the top down all everywhere to find my car oh my god yeah anyways they couldn't find my Tesla's own car. saying that this happened to him too <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my Duh. god During this period of time, no administrative services will be provided for the car. What? And it may not be driven. If during these 15 days, no similar offense is committed, The car will be released from impound automatically. Yeah. If this happens for the third time, a text message will be sent to the owner. Informing him, I think you mean her. Informing her that the vehicle is impounded. Why is it saying him? Well, it's not like you have gender pronouns in Farsi anyways. <laughs> yeah, the P- Farsi is not gendered, so why did, did she say her? And she, she must not drive it until further noticed by the police. At the first opportunity, the police will contact her. No, him. actually, no, it can actually be, you can, you can face this punishment if you have someone not wearing the hijab in your own vehicle. I know, but wouldn't it the most, yeah, I know that could happen, but which one is more likely, like, given that it could be a man or a woman, why wouldn't you just go with woman because we're talking about hijab? I don't know. Like, I, I think like that would be the brother. Asked I mean, if you have to, question. if you have to choose between he and her, why wouldn't you go with her? I don't understand. Okay. And she must not drive it until further noticed by the police. Like, are you saying that men are more likely to own cars than women? Is that what yes. it is? Yes! <laughs> At the first opportunity, the police will contact her and discuss, and discuss her oh discuss him discuss with her this is bad translation discuss with her whether to impound a, a, a car and clamp its wheel at his own garage at her own garage or or she will be provided with the name of a parking lot so, yeah, you did with mine well, they're basically saying that when we impound your vehicle we're either going to make you put a boot on it yourself or we're going to make you take it to one of our parking lots Which no like, they're going to put it a... yeah like who's going to let their car be in like self impound one and then two how much infrastructure is required for this This is what we're using our public resources on right now. If I was an Iranian, I'd be losing my mind. Well, they are losing their minds. And also, they don't have enough resources for this. They don't. I this know. Is, they, they are. Yeah, they don't. This is not going to work. This is not going to work. Parking. As so where he can park the car and hand the receipt over to the police. But he has. 
needless to say that after a week when all the legal steps are completed از یک هفته پس از طی مراحل قانونی خود رو ترخیص می the vehicle will be released گردد. شهروند قانونمند جامعه امن و آرام Oh my god. That voice over at the end creeps me the... out. Yeah, and then at the end it says a law abiding citizen, a safe and peaceful society. Oh my uh. god. This is so Oh my god. God damn this is so fascistic. Like Charvan de Qanun man. De Qanun man, jamae amn o aram. Jamae amn o aram. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. I'm like, oh, God damn, this fucking government. God, I hate everything about this regime. I hate this regime so much. I, 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 I'm, oh my God, I will make my life mission to make this regime die. God damn it. I hate, I have, I have, I have felt with disgust and hate right now for this regime. God Guys, I think it. I broke Armin today. I broke Armin today. <laughs> Yeah, this such the fucking fascist, the fucking fascist. Oh my this god! This is guys. This this is what fascism looks like. Just in case you were wondering. And also, Tesla is saying that his car got impounded and lost twice. <laughs> 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 you poor thing. And also, Gaijin uh, American gave us a super chat, five dollars. Thank you very much. And say, can men please cover up their beards and stubble? It's very hard to concentrate. Right. Okay. So, if protecting modesty is a men's rights issue, we're gonna need some of you fellas to start, you know, covering that aura. Okay. You're looking too good out here. Because what about our gay brothers? Okay. Is it not a men's issue to care about all men? All of our brothers and you whores are out here looking fine as hell first thing in the morning. Got, the, got that morning voice in the stubble and you're just going to expect it to be okay for our gay brothers out here? Nah. Nah. <laughs> you want to talk about men's rights? Let's. Who, who's really behind all men's rights? Okay? <laughs> Thank you, Gage. I mean, brother. For raising this mm. issue. Thank you for your service. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, we have a, a few other comments. Do you oh, yeah, to... Imran is saying it's scary to see how technology is being used to con for control in places like China. How long before they start training a no hijab detection AI? Well, they already did. They already have. They already I mean, it's not have. working. It's not very good, but it's, they did do it. It's not very good, but they're trying. Hijabless tried, facial yeah. ID. And it's already. Didn't you, didn't you tell me that it's flagging women that are blonde instead? <laughs> no, men, men who are blonde, men who are blonde are being. <laughs> I don't know why. Men who are blonde are being triggered. The AI is recognizing as women. I think. I think because, um, being like somebody who colors their hair, okay, the AI is recognizing there. This must be a woman, okay. So if, yeah, I think that the AI is detecting that mostly women color their hair. So if you see a man coloring their hair, so like, okay, this is a woman and no hijab, no scarf. So it's like associating that with the, so it's flagging blonde men as no hijab, hijab woman without hijab. Right. So it's mis there's a lot of funny misfiring going on with the AI for now. That's wild. Yeah. Um, yeah, safe and peaceful, sickening. Exactly. This is the the words that you know in the people, fascists use as an excuse to um, to come and meddle in people's personal lives. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was hella, invade your that privacy. Was hella, yeah, that was hella cringe. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Armin, you're scheduled to be on Atheist Experience for the fifth, correct? I think so. I think it's the fifth, isn't it? I actually didn't yes, hear I... about this. Oh, you didn't? No. Let me see. Yes, it is the fifth. I am going to be on the atheist experience, guys, on the fifth. We should announce this on the next news. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> this is a dream come true for me, guys. So thank yeah, thank you for letting me telling me to tell people here. That's awesome. And then we 
Yeah. <laughs> we got another super chat by Gijin American saying, Armin, now you know how I feel about CPC. I already knew that before. Yeah. I mean, I think, yeah, your disgust is valid. Your disgust is valid. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.